Water has been a problem for the dorms of Winthrop over the past two months, and we have some answers. Stay tuned to find out the thoughts of Senior Day from two men's basketball players. Welcome to Winthrop Close Up. I'm Markayla Johnson. And I'm Morgan Lowers. The first two months of the spring semester were a little rough for a number of students. Winthrop has had three water pipe leaks, a burst, and since the start of the new year. The first pipe burst in the courtyard displacing about 80 students while the rooms were under repair. A second leak occurred when a sprinkler broke in Richardson Hall flooding the seventh floor before it was fixed. And finally, a quick fix was needed to repair a leaking pipe in the lobby of Lee Wicker Hall. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not that much. When you when you have a campus our size, we have 60 buildings and 2.4 million square feet, and that's a lot. So you have a lot of opportunities for pipes, both inside of buildings and underground. Having three pipes leak in two months is concerning, but they have all been due to unrelated incidents. According to Hardin, prices are not tallied on all of the repairs, but it is estimated that it could be in the six-digit range. Organizations on campus collaborate and answer frequent questions about the head covering worn in public by some Muslim women on World Hijab Day. The Muslim Student Association and Zeta Sigma Chi Multicultural Sorority Incorporated celebrated World Hijab Day in the DeGiorgio Campus Center. World Hijab Day is an event that is geared towards creating awareness about those who wear hijabs. Student and faculty had the opportunity to ask questions about things that they might not understand about the hijab. So when other people come forward and they have that that want to learn or they have that interest and that awareness, it's it's a very it's a very close thing to my heart per se because they're going and they're learning about the hijab. The two organizations will continue to celebrate World Hijab Day with an event in Dina's place going more in depth with history of the hijab. Both of the organizations said they will have more events throughout the semester, so make sure you're on the lookout. Many people may not understand the significance of wearing a hijab. Reporter Taylor Simpson shed some light on the Muslim tradition. I do. Of the mission that I carry on my head and shoulders. The Winter Muslim Student Association held an event on Hijab Day with a speaker and three panelists telling their experiences and knowledge about wearing the hijab and being Muslim. It's a day where non-Muslims, other non-Muslims, do wear hijab in solidarity with Muslims women just to educate people more about hijab. It's just a choice for Muslim women and people should respect that. People get the choice to try it and just feel how it feels like wearing the hijab. Muslims come from all over. A recent winter grab became a Muslim in 2002 and tells the power of wearing the hijab. This is our protection. It makes us feel honored. It makes us feel powerful because we're not, we're not objectified by what hairstyle we have, what color our hair we have, or how our hair is styled. We are powerful because we're not judged by that characteristic. With many misconceptions about Muslims, the president of the Muslim Student Association wants to clear up those misconceptions and also wants peace. It's not forced upon us. We choose to wear it. And also, um, it's a beautiful thing to wear, in my opinion. I actually enjoy wearing my hijab, and also I wear it to please God. The hijab is not just worn by women in the presence of males outside their immediate family, but also for protection of criticism. I'm Taylor Simpson, went through close up. The event was very informative for the non-Muslim community and allowed Muslims the opportunity to clear up the misconceptions of the hijab. Students who are into vaping should check out this Rock Hill business for their student discount. Want to take your taste buds on an adventure? We know just the place. Welcome back to Winthrop Close Up. For students looking to quit smoking, vaping can be a safer alternative. One Rock Hill business is looking to make it more accessible. We go to Matt Lee at State Line Vapes for this report. Matt? Hey guys, I'm here at Stateline Vapes to talk about their student discount that they offer for anyone with a student ID and how important it can be for saving money. Vaping has been a growing trend over the past years as a way for people to quit cigarettes. 
The devices, called vapes or e-cigs, heat up a liquid that contains nicotine and flavors to produce a vapor cloud. Vaping can be expensive. Uh, I mean, we offer 120s for $24.99. So that's, that's a big bang for the buck when it comes to liquid. And then they get that additional 10% off with their ID. So that's, uh, I mean, we understand that some college students, is, you know, it's struggle getting through college, paying for it, and then... With some vapes costing over $100, along with batteries, coils, fluid, and accessories, vaping can be expensive to get into. My first mod, it was over $100, and it took off a good chunk of it, so I was able to keep the rest of the money that I, that I would have spent, so it was nice. If you already vape or are looking to get into it, swing by State Line Vapes on Cherry Road and be sure to show them your student ID. This has been Matthew Lee, Winthrop Close Up. Thanks, Matt. Although vaping isn't as harmful as cigarette smoke, people should still do their homework on the pros and cons of vaping before deciding if it is for them. A new trend in the food industry is creating a buzz on social media and in the Fort Mill community. A new distinctively unique fried ice cream shop opened last week in the commons of Winthrop Shopping Center. The Icy Juicy is known for their rolled ice cream staple. They are also selling bubble tea and light bulbs, fruit tea, fruit smoothies, and slushies. It was a trend in New York, and I'm originally from New York, so it was like... It was like the thing. Everyone like goes to the um, goes to the ice cream place. We take pictures, post it on Instagram and stuff. And we thought it was a good idea. There are over 25 toppings for customers to choose from, in, the, in addition to seven rolled ice cream flavors to customize their orders. Icy Juicy is open Sunday through Saturday from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. and will continue to run their grand opening special for the first month of business. If you want an experience like no other, make sure to stop by. Being a college student can be stressful, but many students are finding time to squeeze in a few hours on the clock. Brianna McSwain files this report. Some memory students take away from college are being broke or not having money to do what they want but a number of students are making good memories by turning to an on-campus job. I work at the courtyard front desk, so all I have to do is come downstairs to work and then go back to live in my room, so it's very convenient. On-campus jobs are convenient for students because they are steps away from their dorms. Winthrop University offers many on-campus jobs, such as resident assistants, student directors, desk posts, and many food places that are always looking for new employees. On-campus jobs are not only convenient for students on campus, but also those who live off campus. It's most, most for me. So, so when I get out of class, I, if I'm already here, it's easier, easier to say, okay, well, I'm going to go for the extra hours. Instead of having to like, go home, change, go to that job. Working on campus definitely has its advantages with the closest of being on campus, but there are some downsides. Some disadvantages of working on campus are you can only work a certain amount of hours in a week, so it's really hard. So. Unfortunately, on campus you're limited to the amount of hours you can work on the job, but many students say they would rather few hours than no hours. I'm Brianna McSwain, Winthrop Close Up. If you're looking for an on-campus job, just go to the Winthrop University website and search jobs. See what basketball player graduated in just two and a half years. North and South Korea are bringing something new to the Winter Olympics this year. Stay here to find out exactly what that is. Welcome back. As an athlete's college career winds down, teams show their appreciation by recognizing their contributions. Senior night is coming for the men's basketball team and Taylor Simpson has this report. There are six seniors on Winthrop's men's basketball team. Two of them reflect on playing their last regular season home game. You know, it's going to be different. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to feel on that day. Um, you know, right now I'm just thinking basketball-wise, but, you know, I probably will get a little more emotional uh, the closer we get to it and lead up onto that day. And it might not hit me till after the season, to be honest. Ever since Xavier Cook stepped foot on Winthrop's campus, he has made a huge impact and will be a huge hole to fill. I mean, it'll be an emotional game, just knowing you're putting so much work in front of this crowd on this court, so many practices, but um, it's going to be a good night either way. I'm going to have fun. My mom's going to be here from Australia, so I'm going to be excited. 
This night is for the players, but coaches also know what it's like to graduate seniors. A group of seniors this year, just like the ones the past couple years, have poured their heart and soul into this program and have reestablished Winthrop as one of the premier mid-major programs in the entire country. Uh, those guys are all uh, were integral to our success over the last four years, and they're going to be sorely missed. The senior game is February 24th at 2 p.m. against Charleston Southern. I'm Taylor Simpson. Went through close up. Make sure to be out there for the games to support those seniors. It is rare that a college student graduates in two and a half years, but even more rare when you are a Division I basketball player. Starting point guard Bjorn Broman graduated in December and began taking graduate courses in January. He will graduate with a master's degree next fall. Usually players that have one more year of eligibility try and transfer to a big school to play, but Bjorn wanted to end his career at Winthrop. I didn't want to leave. Um, you know, the coaches here are great, this, this area is great, you know, just everything about it. Um, I mean, I came here for a reason and I want to stay here for four years and um, take in the whole, whole situation. Bjorn has started since his freshman season and looks to help the team try and win back-to-back -back Big South Conference tournaments. It is great to see that the meaning of student-athletes is in full effect with Bjorn Broman. North and South Korea marched together in the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics, striking concerns among the other countries in the world. As the Olympics started this past month, the world did not expect the North and South Korea competing together as one. The country wanted to show unification among one another. I think it will benefit the citizens because they will maybe make relationships that have not been made before and the citizens of North Korea will be able to see the world and see who actually is out in the world that they've never seen before. It's hard to tell what the final outcome will be of the two countries working together, but hopefully it will release some tension between the two countries. So far they have won three medals, two gold, and one bronze, but with plenty of events left, the two have plenty of time to win more. Morgan, have you been to Icy Juicy yet? I haven't, but I love sweets, so I'm sure I'll try it sooner or later. You should, it's delicious. <laughs> Thank you for watching Winter Close-Up. Remember to follow us on Facebook. See you next time on Winter Close-Up.